236 here week in review and if you've been following my blog you know my week already the reason I'm not going to tell you about it is because it's ridiculous it's silly it's pointless it's negative and I really don't want to get into it I'm trying to start off on the right foot and really get myself going into a new direction I am not going to have time to worry about anybody else's problems and I know I have had the problem in the past of being a negative Nancy. Trying to save the world which no one can do on their own and if nobody listens to common sense they're just going to be the way they are. So I'm going to try to try <laughs> emphasis on try I'm gonna to try to be a better person <coughs> I have too much going on this last part of the year to worry about the little problems that everybody is making so big online on Facebook and everywhere else bicker amongst yourselves destroy yourselves that's fine I'm not going to feed your fire anymore. I'm not going to <sighs> Sorry. I woke up, I brought my friend here to an interview. I'm still tired, my hair's a mess. I'm drinking coffee to wake myself up. I'm sitting out here in the parking lot waiting on him. I'm just I'm over this, okay? So many things in the past week have happened that have been completely negative. Now, I don't believe it's karma because when karma hits you, karma hits hard. And karma hasn't hit me hard. It's just, I had a great interview yesterday with a wonderful model, Miss Jessica from Model Mayhem. We went over to El Patio over off of exit 7 off of I-81 in the Walmart Plaza and uh, discussed about doing some projects together along with uh, Brandon Reese who is a local uh, photographer in Abingdon, Virginia and we came up with some ideas and we set down the ground rules and everything she goes well what date do you want I said I would rather have an interview or meet with the model in advance with an open date so that we get to know each other a little bit better before actually making it an awkward uh, situation of setting a date and just meeting the time of it. So she agreed and uh, her escort <laughs> agreed. You know, um, we kept it very professional and we had a great time getting to know each other. So hopefully I'll be having some video and some different photos of what we may be doing uh, with her in the future. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long. I do have a few open dates, so maybe within a week or two uh, we'll be doing some body painting. That'll be fun. Uh, got my brushes in. If you're looking for good brushes, I have been using Simply Simmons brushes for quite a while now. Uh, I would have to say since the Blue Plum Festival in Johnson City I went by an art store because I needed to get some new brushes and they had these Simply Simmons brushes for $3.99 on sale and um, that still seems kind of high though and I use these brushes and I'm still using the same brushes that I bought then and they still have a nice tip on them they are awesome brushes they hold the paint great everything well what I'll do is I'll place a link down below 
So you can go to the place where I bought my brushes from at $2.25 a piece. That's 43% off retail price. And I picked up about $45 worth of paint brushes. Awesome paint brushes. Really great. Um, in fact, hold on a second. Let me go into my bag. Since I'm in my car and I have everything here, I can easily ah, get into my bag. Easily get in. Give me. All right, got it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to open up my little. If you've seen this before, I have a brush case here. It's uh, just stow it, if you can see that. And uh, it's a nice little case. Holds all my brushes. And uh, man, this is hard. I'm having to unzip one-handed. There we go. All right. Here's all my brushes. Brand new. Well, some of them. Not all of them. If you see the ones that are kind of frayed out, even though they're frayed out, these suckers hold a point really good. Ah, let me see if I can do it. Right there. Those brushes that are a little frayed out, don't worry about them. They hold their points so damn good. Sorry, don't mean to cuss. I'm just excited. And hopefully these brushes will help me out for when I do my body painting and everything else like that. Now, as I've told you before, I am working on finding a new place that I could also use as a studio, doing uh, body painting, photography, and everything else, and hopefully starting up my own gallery. Um, going off the comic book theme to start so I can build up my skill and elaborating from there and going on and doing more abstract or some more fine art body painting. Um, I'm working with a few individuals on advertising, um, trying to get into the races in Bristol to see if I can do some models up uh, to match some of the cars that are out there. You know, really bring in body art as a new form in this area since it's not as big as, say, Hollywood, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, uh, you know, Atlanta, New York, in different places so like I said I'm gonna keep it positive from now on try 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 emphasize emphasis on try um, I'm gonna try to keep it as positive as possible because um, as I said in past videos I tried to do the same thing but things come up and even though you try to make it positive things come up um, <laughs> don't know what else to tell you. Um, I want to apologize to anybody I offended, but I've been told not to. I am who I am, as Popeye would say, and I'm going to change, but it's going to take time. I cannot apologize for anything that I've done because, honestly, I don't feel I was in the wrong. Um, let me do emphasize this, though. If somebody uses damn before something, it's used as an adjective, I guess. I, I don't know how you would put it in uh, English terms. Um, this damn car, this, uh, damn bicycle, damn shoes, damn clothes. You're using it to describe something. You're not cursing at an individual. So, when a statement is made, can't keep your damn mouth shut. Can be taken out of context. Okay, uh, my camera cut out on me, so 
instead of trying to make a new video, I'm just going to continue on. And uh, all right, so I guess that was pretty to tell me that I need to stop talking. <laughs> um, let me just put it to you this way. Because I'm trying to go on a positive note, and I've been on crusades before. If you have a problem with somebody stealing photos, somebody doing something wrong online um, against the community or anything like that, you can bring it to my attention and ask for my opinion or advice on the issue. I'll be happy to give it to you. But no longer will I go on any crusades to stop that individual or anything like that. Um, just like just recently we've had this individual again stealing photos. I did not personally contact them. I did make a statement on one of their photo galleries. But other than that. I kept it professional and the only thing I did was give you guys links on how to report copyright infringement on that individual. I am no longer going to make videos that negatively reflect anything. If you have a problem with something, you're just going to have to deal with it yourself. I am going to be way too busy to waste my time on these anymore. Unless they directly involve me, I am no longer getting involved. That being said, this whole mess with A Amusement Performers, this whole mess with Diamond Effects, this whole mess with people stealing photos, is no longer my concern. I'm backing out of it, I'm backing away, I'm keeping my mouth shut. And I will gladly give my opinion when asked, or advice if asked. But no more am I going to be told that I am attacking individuals who are defending themselves for no reason whatsoever and lacking in common sense when it comes to these issues in the first place. So... I'm going to keep it positive. And I guess that's going to end my video. So I'll keep you guys updated on um, what I'm going to be doing with the body painting and everything else. And I'll see what I can do about getting videos and uh, some photos up and different things um, when I do do it. And um, other than that, if you have any ideas for any positive videos, tutorials, ideas that you want to see me do, even if they're just funny, pointless, meaningless <laughs> little things you want to see me do, go ahead and um, just post them as a comment, um, post them on my Facebook wall, Twitter, anywhere you want, and uh, I'll see what I can do about making some positive, funny videos for you guys. Um, I really need your input because you guys have actually been a great asset to me. You have opened up my eyes to a few things. You have helped me to mature a little bit. No sarcasm there. I was just thinking about what I just said. But, um, uh, yeah, you figure that one out. Um... <laughs> Yeah, just uh, if you want to see me do something more positive, more entertaining, let me know what you want to see me do, and I'll see about doing it. No matter how ridiculous it is, let me know what you want to see me do, and um, I'll try to accommodate as much as possible, within reason, okay, within reason. So, I'm going to say goodbye, thanks for watching the video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't, um, unsubscribe if you <laughs> don't want to be listening to me anymore, but um, you guys do what you want to do, uh, have a great day, happy painting, bye.